Hey guys, my name is Pun Shankar and in this video, we would be looking into a Tableau extension that allows you to write back data from your Tableau dashboard. Tableau as a visualization tool has a comprehensive set of functionalities and features to visualize data. But one feature that is being sought out by many users is the functionality to input data through Tableau and also store it in their data source for future reference. The Writeback Dashboard extension we are going to see in this session can help us meet this requirement. There are two versions of Writeback extensions that is available. One is a free version that uses Google Sheets to save the data we input and then it can be brought into Tableau for usage. The other one is a commercial version that provides support to save the input data back into our databases itself. What we are going to see in this session is the free version of Writeback extension using Google Sheets. This would be a simple data that I have put together to work in today's session. Let's open our Tableau desktop. I'm using a professional version of Tableau 2020.2. Let's connect to the example Excel sheet we just saw. The data is loaded. Now let's go to our Tableau sheet. Select Customers, Sales, and change the chart to Bar. Then make the view as entire view and sort the view in descending order. Let's enable data labels and give an appropriate name for the view. Now, this is a simple bar chart that shows top customers by sales. Let's say we would want the audience of this dashboard to add comments against each customer about their performance and then save those inputs in a location to be used for future analysis. This is a functionality that is not readily available in Tableau. Let's see how we can make this happen using Tableau dashboard extensions. These extensions are designed to work at the dashboard level and it requires the dashboard to have at least one sheet. Let's create a new dashboard and drag our new customer sheet into it. Now let's drag extensions from the objects and drop it into the right corner of our dashboard. A dialog box will open up asking us to choose an extension. We will also be able to see two options. One is the extension gallery option where we will be able to see a list of Tableau extensions that can be downloaded and used. After we do this, we can use the My Extensions option to use the downloaded extension file and configure as per our requirement. Let's select on Extension Gallery and a new browser window will open. It is a good practice to choose our Tableau version here so that we would be able to see the list of extensions that supports the version we are using. These are the list of extensions Tableau presently supports. If we scroll down, we would be able to see a write back extension by Expand IT. This is the commercial version that is available. Let's scroll down further and we would be able to see a free version of write back extension which we would be using in this session. Let's select on it and download the extension. If we have not already logged into the Tableau account, then it will ask for the credentials before the download starts. Now the download is done. Now let's go back to our dashboard and select on my extensions and select the .trex extension file that we have downloaded. Once we do this, a configuration window will open to configure our extension. The worksheet that is added in the dashboard is already selected. Now let's select extract all worksheet data because we would like all the data in the top customer sheet to be added to the extension sheet. Now when we scroll down a bit, we would be able to see the endpoint menu. We can see Google Sheet is by default selected. For us to write back data from Tableau into Google Sheet, we need to set up a Google Sheet, configure it, and then expose it to be used by our Tableau desktop. Let's do that now. 
If we go into our right back product website, we would be able to find the configuration details. To make it easier for you guys, I have given this link in the video description itself. Let's select on spreadsheet configuration and click on the link in the first step which says copy the Google spreadsheet. When it opens up, there will be an option to make a copy. And when we select on it, we will be taken to a Google spreadsheet. If you haven't already logged into your Google account, it would ask you to log in and then bring you to this spreadsheet. We will have to publish the spreadsheet as a web app so that our tablet desktop can access the sheet. Let's go to Tools in the menu tab and select Script Editor. A new browser tab will open up with a script. Now go to Publish and select Deploy as Web App. A new dialog box will open where we should choose Project Version as New, Execute the app as your email account. In the place where who have access to the app, choose anyone, comma, even anonymous and select on Deploy. It will ask for authorization. Select on Review Permissions and log in to your account. Then select Advanced and click on Go to Tableau Do Post. Allow the permissions. Now the deployment is done. Let's copy the URL from this window and paste it in a notepad as this would be the endpoint we will have to use while configuring the extension in Tableau. Let's copy the URL link and paste it in the URL space below endpoint. Select the spreadsheet is an optional choice. This represents the name of the sheet inside the Google spreadsheet. I'm just leaving it to the default settings. Below the data table menu, let's select on display measures as we would want the measures in the top customers such as sales also to be shown in the extension sheet. Let's resize this window a bit to make it easier to navigate. Now let's add a column named comment and in the default value let's say add your remarks and click on add. Now the column is added. We can see the columns is added along with the other two columns in the sheet below the right back field menu. Now select on submit and we can see the data is loaded in the sheet. But we still cannot see the comment column. So let's click on the inverted triangle and select on reload. Once we do this, we can see the comment field is populating. Let's sort the table using sales column. Now, let's select on a record in our extension sheet and select on edit the record that is selected icon. A window will open with provision to enter comments. We can enter a comment against this customer and click on submit. Let's repeat the same for few more customers. Now, if we hover over the icons in the top of our extension sheet, we would be able to see an icon to remove the selected records, then an option to add a new record, and then an option to send the data. When we select on send the data, it will process our request to send the data in this table to our Google spreadsheet, and after a short moment, we should see an intimation that says data sent successfully. Now if we go back to our Google spreadsheet, we would be able to see the data we intended to get. Now let's see how we can connect this data back to Tableau for further analysis. Let's go back to our Tableau dashboard. Let's create a new sheet, go to data, new data source and select Google Sheets. It will ask you to log into your Google account and allow permissions to connect to it. Let's close this window now and when we go back to Tableau, we would be able to see all the Google Sheets listed out. The one which I used for loading data is the most recent Google Sheet with the name copy of Tableau data.
and selecting it and choosing connect. We are now able to see the data in Google Sheet loaded into Tableau. We can use this as such or we can also leverage data blending capabilities in Tableau to use this data along with the original data source we had. Let's see how. What you see here are two data source connections. Sheet 1 connection is the original data source and Tableau connection name is the Google Sheet we just connected. I am selecting Sheet 1 which is our original data source. Let's select customers, region, segments, profit and sales. Now let's go to the Google Sheet data source and we would be able to see a red color chain symbol near the customers field denoting data blending is activated using the common fields in both the data sources which is our customers field. Now if we drag the comment field and drop it into our rows, we would be able to see that data blending is enabling us to use comment field in the secondary data source with all the other columns in the primary data source. In this way, we can capture data provided through Tableau dashboards, store it in a location, and then use it for further references and analysis. I hope this helped in providing an end-to-end -end idea about how write-back extensions works with Tableau dashboards. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Stay connected by subscribing my channel to dive into more details and learn more together. Please give a thumbs up and share if you have liked this video. Also, please comment below for any questions in this video and I will do my best to help you guys out.